hello friends welcome to java swing uh, tutorial in this video we are going to see how to embed a combo bar inside a toolbar in the last video we created a tool two toolbars and then we looked at uh, set floatable as well as uh, set rollover properties we also saw how we can dock the toolbar towards the edges of the frame window here uh, you can see we are using only one toolbar cut copy paste toolbar and in that we are attaching a combo box so j toolbar you are by this time aware why because in the previous video we talked about it j button because we place these buttons uh, in the toolbar so you will learn j button j combo box so that's what we are going to add here in this uh, uh, example so like in the previous example we will create a j toolbar with the empty constructor then then we will construct a j combo box and after that we will add items to it so some string likewise you can add uh, many items uh, to the uh, j combo box so after adding all the strings to the combo box or all the objects to the combo box we will make a call to add method in the j toolbar and then we will pass the j combo box so if you see in the previous example we created a j button with uh, a image icon then we used that here we are using the j combo box and we are once again making call to add so this shows that j toolbar not only supports button you can add label so you can try the other components here at this time we used a uh, uh, add method to add a button in the previous video here we are using your combo box and you can even try with the text box and other component so simply j toolbar will accept a component using its add method then it will show those component added component in the toolbar so now we can go for the example so what we will do we will uh, create a toolbar then we will construct our uh, j combo box after that we will add the items finally we will add our uh, j combo box to the toolbar after doing everything we will uh, give this uh, to the content panel so we already saw how to add the toolbar to frame window same stuff we will do now also now it's a demo time let's go to eclipse so here is our eclipse so in the package we have two class main entry and then swing toolbar with the combo box so as part of the prerequisite video that means the very first video there uh, we created the frame window so that's the base for all our video then we will start developing the each example here we are using the following set bounds border layout is uh, set for our frame and the class name is swing toolbar with uh, combo so we created that here and then we make the frame visible so at this time if i run it the swing frame look like this like in our previous example we are creating the image icons and this time we create image icon only for cut copy paste So this also we saw in the previous video we are creating a J button so we will add these uh, buttons to our uh, toolbar now we will go ahead and create the combo box
next if you see we are creating a j combo box and after that we are adding three items to it so we just added a suppress warning for raw type okay if you want to get rid of these uh, warnings you can use the suppress uh, warnings at the header or at the class level so that uh, you are stating that i am aware of these warnings and i want to suppress it all right now if you see our uh, toolbar buttons are ready and combo box also ready and here we are preparing the toolbar and then we are adding the buttons one by one so this is the toolbar after that we are adding the three uh, j button as part of toolbar then here we are making call to add separator this will separate our toolbar with the combo box these two we already saw set flow double and set low rollover so already saw in the sense we saw these two properties in the previous video and if you see here the add method actually accepts a component so that's why previously we added a j button since it accepts a component combo box is also a component so we are adding a jco so jco is nothing but j combo box with uh, three items in it we added those three items using the add item method finally we add our uh, toolbar to the border layout of our frame window so this is our j frame we got the content pan using the so here we get the content pan and we set border layout to that content pan so since it's your border layout we are adding our toolbar to the north part and this toolbar is now hosting three toolbar buttons and one combo box now we will run this and you can see these three are the j button and this one is the combo box which is added to the toolbox since set floatable is false we cannot move this toolbar That's all here uh, in this uh, video. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.